Hey, what's up Photoshop fans? Welcome to a new uh, challenge with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and today I have this challenge for you. Uh, I think it's a lot easier than the previous one uh, on last week. And uh, this is my version of this. And this one will be a bit different, and I'll tell you why in just a second. You'll have the PSD file of this uh, challenge as well, and of course you'll have the PNG file. So you'll have this for this challenge, and all you have to do is change the background and create your manipulation based on this image, like always. Now, uh, let me explain for uh, for people that um, uh, are new to these challenges. Uh, if you want to join these challenges, the only thing you have to do is upload your image to Instagram or, photo or Facebook and use the hashtag PSDBox underscore desafio on this, uh, for this one is seven. So you'll see the hashtag here on the screen. You can use this hashtag for this uh, for this challenge, and I'll um, next week, next Friday, I will uh, create another challenge and show you the best images from the previous one. And I'm just gonna show you the three images that I liked the most from the previous challenge. And this is one of the changes uh, from um, on this one. Um, so this is new. Uh, from now on, I will uh, just show some of the images that I like the most, three or four or five images that I like, the, uh, which I like the most. And that's because uh, they are starting to uh, participate a lot more people and it's hard to show all the images that you submit. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna show you on the website uh, and on YouTube, you will find, this was the previous, uh, the previous challenge. If you want to see all the entries of uh, any of the challenges that I made so far, you can scroll down on the description and you will find the Facebook link and the, the Instagram link, which will take you, uh, as you can see the hashtag here, will take you to that hashtag and you can see all the entries of that particular challenge. Now, um, let's see the ones that I liked the most from the previous challenge and then we'll come back here and show you how I made this image. So um, the challenge uh, of this week, I think it's uh, quite easy and quite simple. So I started with this image and I deleted the background. You can see this was the original image. I deleted the background and I, want, I wanted to get some a night image. I don't know why I have, I had this bluish tone on the guy standing here and I tried uh, to uh, create something using a night a night image. And I just got some images from Unsplash. I changed the sky a bit and I blurred the background as you can see here, uh, here to give more uh, ten, well to focus more the, um, the attention on the guy standing there and I wanted to add the moon also this had um, blurred a bit created a, um, a glow of light and then just some adjustments to make this guy integrated a bit more on the background you can see using curves and um, and uh, gradients and stuff like that and then I added a couple of uh, newspapers uh, blurred them a bit and added some texture and some lights and shadows you can see the shadow uh, I created here with painting with a soft brush then some light on over him and final adjustments and camera raw filter to give the final touch and that's how I created this I really like to see what you can create out of this. I think it's an image that offers a lot of possibilities to create all kinds of manipulations and it's something uh, really easy to, uh, to manipulate, I think. Uh, until next time, uh, this is the challenge of this week. I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're not subscribed already, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and join the 200,000 subscribers that I already have. And uh, I'll post more challenges like this and more tutorials uh, every week. So I hope you will enjoy it, have a nice weekend, and we'll see you next time.